Facebook world. How are you? I am coming to you live. You guys got an email about this. I hope you are doing well. We are talking about Ask Me Anything. I'm trying to um, make sure that I show up weekly for you so that you know not just your coach, but I actually am going to show up as your coach and answer any questions, whether um, it's for your personal life or your professional life as it relates to confidence. Because you know, the thing is, is confidence is a key foundational basically the the core and center of what allows us i really believe to follow our calling if you have this dream to to live a life worth telling a story about to to make a difference in this world to live out your passions to achieve your goals you've got to know that that's part of your calling and the one thing that can keep us from our calling is when our confidence is derailed so as your confidence coach it is my goal and my commitment to you to continually cheer you on, encourage you, remind you about the truth of who you are, help you turn down the volume of self-doubt, the volume of insecurity, the overwhelm, the feeling that you might have, the feelings of overwhelm, the feelings of procrastination, perfectionism, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying, I am worthy, I matter, and while I may not have all the steps I wanna take figured out, I know that today matters, and I can take one step, right? And one of the things I love the most talking about confidence is that there's a really interesting relationship between courage and confidence. One of the things we do in the College of Confidence is we talk about that relationship and how to activate it. But the thing is, is if you're already feeling a little bit down on yourself or discouraged or maybe just like overwhelmed, you're like, I don't have time to do what I actually want to do, thinking about courage can be overwhelming too. So I wanted to share with you that that the more you invest in one thing, the more the other thing is going to grow. Hello again, Megan, and to my my fellow Trish Sign, and I'm sending you love. You guys do not, maybe you guys don't know this, but my mother-in-law has um, the same name as me, so it's fun. We are both Trishes, both Trish Signins. My 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 maiden name, you guys, is Blackwell, which is what I go by in business, but my married name is Sinan. So little info you may not have known. So, but what we're talking about is how to leverage up what you want to do. So I think that we, so many of us have this deep desire to, to do something different, right? To know that we're making an impact and it can be exhausting going through your day-to-day -day life, whether it's a job that you just feel like gets monotonous or, or you're a mom and it's exhausting to convince ourselves that what we do and who we are doesn't matter. And I wanna encourage you today to remind you that you are what the world needs. The world needs more people who are fully alive. So I wanna encourage you today to go pursue whatever it is that makes you feel more fully, fully, fully alive. That is what the world needs. So I know that sometimes I have overwhelm as I was growing my business uh, and as a mom, I mean, my, my goodness, as a mom, as a wife, as, as every part of my life, I sometimes feel overwhelmed of thinking, well, I want it to matter. I want to make a difference. And then you can get so overwhelmed with wanting to make a difference that you don't know where to start. So I'm, I, one of the reasons I wanted to pop on live today is I want to remind you that today's Tuesday. What does Tuesday mean? Tuesday. Hey, Deanna. Tuesday means drum roll. New episode of the Confidence Podcast got released, and I don't typically bring on guests, but you guys, the guest that I have on is a world changer. She started a, a whole nonprofit called Headbands of Hope, and literally, it's a, for every headband you buy, which by the way, they're beautiful headbands, and by the way, you get a discount. I've, she's hooked us up, so if you go to headbandsofhope.com and use the code CONFIDENCE, you get 20% off. It's amazing, I am obsessed. Right, so so headbands of hope, twenty percent off. Use the code confidence. Um, I don't get a kickback on that, by the way. I just am sharing the love. But the reason why I love headbands of hope is it started as a small idea, and you'll hear when you listen to the podcast today. Which, by the way, you can find anywhere you listen to podcasts. And if you don't know how to find your podcast, shoot me a message. There's no shame in that game. Forty-seven percent of people don't know how to find a podcast. I would be more than happy to walk you through the steps or you can listen directly on my website, trishblackwell.com forward slash 284. That's this episode number. But Jess Ekstrom, she's our guest on the show. She started Headbands for Hope, and for every, um, Linda, I'm glad you made it, girl. That's all that matters, so hi. Um, for every headband that you purchase, she donates one headband to a child with cancer in a children's hospital. It's a beautiful concept, and honestly, She's got celebrities of the wazoo buying her headbands and she's donating hundreds of thousands of headbands to little girls in hospitals. And tell me that's not beautiful. But you know what I love about that story is you think, wow, one decision. She was in college when she came up with this idea of how do I love on, 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 on 
children going through chemotherapy. And you think, well, that sounds like too big of a problem, right? How can one small idea make a big impact? And I wanted to encourage you that you never know how far extending your idea, your act of generosity, your act of courage, that one baby step of courage to say, you know what, I wanna help this type of person. Oh, my, my contribution seems so small. I, I wanna encourage you to show up and make that contribution because that contribution has a compound effect over time if you keep showing up. And you may not feel ready. You may think I've got this business idea but it's not flushed out so I can't start. It doesn't matter, you just start. And so what Jess and I talk about on, on, on this week's podcast is how do you trust yourself to just start when you don't feel ready? So, so, so we dive into that, and again, you can listen to that at trishblackwell.com forward slash 284. That's episode 284. But that said, I wanna talk, I wanna open, ask me anything, open Q&A. Um, in particular, we, I'd love to jam out about how to elevate your confidence, how to elevate your courage. Maybe you have a goal and you're like, look, I feel stuck. Why am I at this point where I'm stuck? We can we can dive in, but go ahead and, and, and I'll take the questions as they come. Let me pull you guys up on my um, laptop at the same time. Um, but, the, but the key is this, is you guys, it, sometimes I think we, we say, oh, these people who do big things, these world changers, those are the people that have courage and that have this confidence out that you, know, you wish you could have. We all have it within us. All you have to do is watch a child grow up, learn to walk, to go, wait, I know how to fall down and get back up. You know that if you're walking today, let me tell you what, you've fallen on your butt a lot of times. And I know that firsthand as a young mom having young children. We fall, we scrape ourselves up. They don't get discouraged because it's part of the process. It's the same thing as you grow in your confidence to grow in the process of, of knowing how to recover from a fall without letting that fall define you. Knowing how to say, I am so thankful for that fall, for the scuffed knee that I had, because I just got stronger because of that. But I really also wanna encourage you today, if you've got a, a dream on your heart, whether it's a lifestyle dream, whether it's writing a, a book, whether it's making an impact, whether it's just being more confident, I want you to really show up for yourself in that and say, I don't know how to take all the steps, but I will take the first step. I will take the step. We want to do all the things and have all the answers. We just need to take one thing. Do one step. Do one move in the next right direction. Maybe it's getting a coach. Maybe it's setting out a plan. Maybe it's stopping to stop thinking about your little side hustle as a side hustle and actually call it a business. Call it, stop stop selling yourself short and playing small because I know this, I know that the world needs you. The world needs more people who are more fully alive. And how do we become fully alive? I think we become fully alive when we're living in the flow of what we're called to do. And to do that, you gotta have confidence and you gotta have courage. So, ask anything, let's talk confidence, let's talk courage. Maybe you're feeling stuck in, and taking a step forward, but how I want to know how can I serve you guys today? And I do hope that you check out the podcast episode about how your courage can change the world because I do believe that. I believe that your courage to be your best self, and that just means doesn't mean perfect self. We cannot be perfect, but to be your best self, because I would believe the courage to say I'm going to show up and just do my best today. I believe that that one percent of growth, that one percent of growth, one percent happier, one percent more kind, less selfish. That that makes the world better. So how do you change the world? You have the courage to show up. You have the courage to say to your negative thoughts, "You don't belong here. Get away from me." I choose to to stop being defeated. I'm choosing victory, even if I don't feel it. I choose it. So let me refresh my page here. And you guys, when I read, I've got put my glasses on so let's get serious um any anything that i can help you guys with any any particular questions that would serve or help you um so far we don't have any questions um i'm here for you i can keep talking can keep definitely keep talking about how to leverage up following your following your dream trusting that you got this idea and it's worth pursuing. 
I want you, I really want to invite you to go to this, this Headbands of Hope is making this impact across the world. They've donated to headbands to, to children with cancer in every children's hospital in the United States and 15 countries. And you know how it started? It started with one college student in North Carolina with an idea. With an idea to say, I believe that my little can make a big difference. And I wanna say that to you, your little way that you interact with somebody in the grocery store today, your little uh, effort to, to stand up for somebody that has no voice, your little is actually very big. And I want to, I just want to, want to applaud you to say that every time you step out and do something that scares you, oh, Deanna, I like that question. Every time you step out and do something that scares you, you are strengthening your courage. You know, you guys know that I absolutely love and really try to like make it one of my life mottos to do Eleanor Roosevelt's quote, do one thing every day that scares you right? One thing every day that scares you. And that's how you strengthen your courage. And Deanna, how do you spell I'm enough in French? Well, they would say, um, really is, um, je compte, I count, uh, je and then c-o-n-t, je, je compte, or c-o-n-t-e. Um, there's a lot of different ways to say it, but um, you could say I'm sufficient. I think it's so interesting to tell yourself that I'm my voice is worthwhile hearing. You know, I work with a lot of people um, uh, in my, my my coaching business on how to know when enough is enough. How to know that you don't have to keep working and every minute of your day doesn't have to be scheduled, and that it's okay to just take a break. And that you know you can be so disciplined on a workout pr regime if you're really focused on a goal, and it's okay if your body's not feeling it. Just to say, you know what? body I hear you and I'm gonna listen and I'm gonna slow down you know it's something interesting that I wrote down for myself this week was how about saying to yourself that the pace that I'm going is the right pace for me we can get so sucked into comparing ourselves to other people and you know what that does comparing yourself steals your calling comparing yourself steals your joy comparing yourself steals your confidence and your courage so how how do you how do you stay in your own lane and say the pace at which i'm going is good enough you say that to yourself hey you're doing better than you think you are and you know what my job is like i can get overwhelmed with thinking about the the problem i want to solve the book i'm trying to write the the people i'm trying to encourage or i could just focus on loving one person and I'm being my best self that day, right? And that knowing that, just like we, we talk about in the episode of the Confidence Podcast this week, episode 284, you guys, we, we talk with Jess Ekstrom of, of headbands, headbands of Hope of, you just start by making your first headband. How do you use headbands to change the world? You make your first headband. And then you, you, get, you do your inner, inner Eleanor Roosevelt and you do one thing that scares you, maybe, and that's make that website live and start a business and share it with people and make mistakes that, that are gonna be public, that, that don't define you, but they refine you. Linda, let's see, so you said, when you're talking about falling down and getting back up, it hit close to home for me. I have had cancer on and off for 25 years um, and thought that my struggle, um, I got cut off, um, you thought that your struggle was just gonna always be your struggle. I'm gonna answer that question, Lynette. That's an amazing, amazing question. So let me revisit that. But Deanna, you just said, how can I watch um, m Monday? So you can watch, you guys, any of these posts, you can click and say, if you're like, if you're popping in, you're like, I don't have time to watch this, but I wanna hear this, go ahead and save the video. You can save your Facebook videos. There should be three little dots at the top right-hand corner of where you're watching. And just, and you click on that, you say, save video. Deanna, if you're talking about one of the videos that I posted in the College of Confidence, which you guys is my group coaching program, that is in our College of Confidence online virtual home um, page. It's also in your email if you're in the College of Confidence, and it's also going to be in the um, College of Confidence Facebook private secret Facebook page, and you can just search for that. But don't you worry about that. I think you were asking about how do you watch this again if you want this motivation again. Um, so, so Linda, going back to getting down and feeling back up. I wanna, I wanna just challenge you to reframe probably how you've thought about yourself of saying, this is just a struggle, I'm always gonna be falling down and expecting the shoe to fall. And I think rather than saying um, that the shoe's gonna keep falling, you can say to yourself, I am so damn strong. You are so resilient that I, I, I think you need to stop and hug yourself and pat yourself on the back about, so starting in struggle with cancer for 25 years, 
you thought you were the only one when you realized that falling down and getting back up was part of recovery sometimes it was harder but we learn from the struggles my gosh we get the best we get strength from our struggles you know I, I would not trade the struggles I've had for anything because they gave me strength they gave me wisdom they gave me insight they gave me resilience that I would never have gotten ever before if I had not had to struggle and that's why I like to try to be transparent with you guys here on my coaching page on Instagram in my email on my blogs on my podcast so that, so that there's not this highlight reel that I'm just got it all together because I think there we need to we need to be vulnerable and transparent and I think that for me that I've been so encouraged by people who share their real struggle so that I can admire the strength that they got from the struggle and I can therefore then better embrace the struggle that I'm walking through and you know I, I, I really believe there's something to be said to say that struggle we we don't have to suffer through struggle we choose to suffer I think we need to I think for one of the things I, I thank you Veronica um, I learned recently that suffering is a choice struggle is inevitable so rather than be surprised by the struggle look at every struggle and say, I will struggle and this will be tough, but I can do hard things and I have resilience and I can continue showing up and believing and looking for the goodness. I refuse to let this sour my experience of life because within every struggle there is strength within every type of thing that breaks us everything every type of brokenness there is beauty and i i love that that beauty that comes from brokenness and and and, and you know when you look at how many times it takes to learn something and i, I used to beat myself up and say I, sh I should be further along than where i am and oh like come on trish no i am at the pace i'm going at and that's enough and furthermore I'm further than where I ever was before and isn't that worth celebrating you know so hopefully um, if, uh, Linda thank you for that that contribution it was a great 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 point of saying the life really switched when you realized that that was um, falling down and getting back up is part of the process and I think for anybody that's going through anything whether it's a struggle of their own their you're, you're trying to change your eating behaviors or your exercise um, habits or making change or going through any type of um, relational um, or health issue it, there's a lot of ups and downs and what a gift that we have to, to get the opportunity to practice resilience to practice really growing in our strength and our ability to say I'm gonna be in the moment and I'm gonna be thankful for it absolutely let's celebrate those struggles they give us strength that you can you, know, you think about this like I, I like to put my personal trainer hat on here and go like you can't be strong unless you you stretch you, you you push yourself and there's pain in a workout where you push yourself like that's that's normal like so but that's what gives me strength so I, I give thanks for that a little bit of pain goes a long way and that's physical pain that's emotional pain so we don't need to be afraid of pain because I think you need to realize that you are much more resilient and capable than you realize. And when, when we start crediting ourselves that, we start seeing ourselves as courageous. We start then seeing ourselves as full of confidence. We start seeing ourselves as capable. And when you realize that you are capable, my friend, you are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. Other questions, other questions or things that we can we could cover and sell. I wanna celebrate you guys today for 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 choosing to believe in yourself for choosing to say that my voice matters that I honor the pace that I'm at and that I believe that that I may not have the solution to solving the world's problems but I know one problem the world needs one the problem the world has is that it's not enough light there's not enough love there's not enough encouragement and there's not enough people being who they were meant to be there's a lot of people trying to fit a mold of what they think they should be there are a lot of really unhappy uncomfortable unhealthy people so what would happen? What impact? You have no idea what is possible if you just decide to show up to be a more alive, to be a more and a more alive version of yourself. And I do want to let you guys know. I'm going to take any other questions that come in. Um, I want to. I want to let you know. I'm going to come. I'm show up next Tuesday as well here live. So make sure you see, you go on the Facebook page and say see all. Post that way you get notified when I go live. 
Also, we are closing the doors. One of my, I mentioned my group coaching program. It's called the College of Confidence. I'm closing the doors for 2018. We're not taking any more new members after September 30th. So if you know that you want to figure out how to stop overthinking, how to break free from perfectionism, how to get beyond many, maybe some body image issues you have or some negative habits around food or exercise or maybe just self-limiting thoughts that are keeping you from being the best, most courageous, most contributing version of yourself, come collegeofconfidence.com or trishblackwell.com forward slash college. Doors close September 30th. I don't want you to miss out. And again, totally, if you're ready to amp up your life, listen to the free podcast today. And if you haven't hit subscribe, if you listen to my show but not hit subscribe, do it today and then um, let me know by, by commenting below. Anything else that I can celebrate with you guys? I'm gonna hit refresh to make sure I see any comments that come through. It's ask anything. It doesn't have to be related to confidence, courage. It could be, you know, and I love this concept of confidence and courage because it relates to feeling the most alive version of yourself, but it also relates to your calling. Do you have the confidence and courage to step out and say, I don't have all the answers, I'm scared, but I'm gonna step forward anyways because that is how change happens. Change within myself and change around, the, around me because of me showing up in the world. Let me scroll. I think we are in our, I think we've got no more questions. You guys, I'm gonna come back and circle back. Um, I would give you a challenge for the week, girl. Absolutely, here's your challenge. Track, take a sheet of paper out, and I want you to track seven things you do that scare you. Oh, I got, you're the best. I want you to track seven things that you do. So for a week, you're gonna commit to Eleanor Roosevelting it. Doing one thing every day that scares you. Small or large, it doesn't matter. But if it makes you feel uncomfortable or a little anxious, I want you to count down from your head. Five, four, three, two, one. And just take action anyways. Maybe that's posting a picture of yourself. Maybe it's taking a picture of yourself. Maybe it's standing in front of the mirror naked. Maybe it's pushing enter on that blog post that you've been thinking about. Maybe it's calling, um, maybe it's enrolling in the College of Confidence. Maybe it's um, having a conversation with your significant other that you've been afraid to have because you don't want to feel too needy or, you, you know, that if speaking your truth but do one thing every day that scares you. Track it so you can tell yourself, I actually am pretty badass and brave and bold and I am proactively practicing courage. That's it. Courage isn't this thing of like for the heroes and the high and mighty. It is for every person. We have it within us. We just have to practice it. And we do it by baby stepping. We do it by showing up and doing little things that scare us. If you're an entrepreneur, Maybe Facebook Live or Instagram Live scares you. So do it, do that this week. Do those things that you're so afraid of judgment for, they are like worried about what they might think, and then I want you to ask yourself, who is this they? Who is this they that you're thinking about? Now, one thing I would love for you guys to do, and I actually am scared to this, I hate asking for things, but it's part of, part of what I need to do, and I wanna spread encouragement and spread love and know that this is encouraging to you. So if this was at all encouraging to you, whether you're watching it live or catching the replay, please share this with a friend, tag them below, maybe shoot this to them, you can share this and put this right into their, their message their Facebook messages, but encourage someone else today to say, I see you and I see your potential. I see you, I see your potential, and I believe that together we can rise up and become the most alive version of ourselves and in our own little way, we will contribute to the world in a way that matters and we do not need to measure it, we do not need to compare it, we do not need to worry if we're doing enough we are enough by saying, today I love, I am going to love well, today I'm going to learn, today I'm going to celebrate life, today I'm going to grow, today I'm going to sprinkle kindness and compliments like confetti, and today I believe that the small things I do are gonna become big things. And, and, and that, that I'm gonna show up for my calling with, with confidence and courage, and my calling is to be the best, most alive version of myself. And you guys, the par hard part about this is letting go of some of that mind chatter that's probably making you go, but how, oh, but you should have seen what I ate yesterday, and I'm, oh, I'm so like, I'm so frustrated with myself, or I'm, you know, this is not, quite. it's not about that. That's all just noise. But you know what's not noise is you. You matter, your voice matters. The pace that you're going is the right pace, but, do the challenge that Veronica mentioned. You're gonna do one thing every day that scares you for the next seven days. And if you're in for the challenge, 
I want you to type in the comments below, I'm in. I'm in, and then maybe if, you, if you're really in, tag a friend to do it with you. All right, guys, um, that's it for today. We don't have a lot more questions, but come in your questions. I am here as your coach to be of service and of encouragement and of accountability to push you a little bit. And if you really want a little bit more push, more personalized support, I, bruh, you're in, you're in, Vero. Love it. I do that. Oh, I'm in. Um, I would love to welcome you into the College of Confidence. So go check that out. I'll post the link in the comments. And I hope to see you guys back here. Well, I'll see you on the podcast airwaves today. And then I'll hopefully see you back here next week as well.